Okay, this is a demonstration of the MIDI breakout box. So what I have here is a, um, a standard uh, piano hooked up to the iPad and then from the iPad I've got the MIDI output routing to a, a GS synth. So I can use the keyboard on the, um, on the digital piano um, and route the output through to multiple virtual instruments uh, via the iPad. So to start with I've got nothing turned on on the iPad and the standard piano sound Okay, you can see it's just a, a very plain piano. When I turn on the breakout box I can start to combine sounds. So to start with, I can just mirror the piano sound through the external synth. Okay, and it gives it a bit more body. But now I can use the breakout box to do things like transpose. So if I turn this on, Okay, you can see that's now added a two octave um, uh, piano behind what I'm playing in real time. Of course I might want to give it even more body. Let's add some strings. And of course I can change the uh, mix, change the volume back so the strings aren't so prominent. And um, something that's also very effective is to put something like a sweep pad behind all of that to add it some extra depth. Okay, and when I do that, so you can see I've um, extended that synthesizer quite a bit by combining sounds in interesting ways. And of course, I could take out the strings and just leave the sweep pad. Um, take the volume back of that. So that's the breakout box and you can see that that allows me to, um, to mix my instruments together. Now this is version 1.5 which isn't yet released on the App Store, um, it should be out shortly. Um, version 1.5 allows me to do keyboard splits. So this uh, column down the side here allows me to set up different key ranges for these instruments to apply. So it allows me to uh, create like a um, uh, any split point I like and combine different parts of the keyboard with different instruments. Um, even if my synth doesn't normally support that. And then down the bottom here, um, version 1.5 also adds presets where I can store all of these into 10 different settings um, so that I can make them available easily at any time. That's excellent if you were, uh, for example, performing. You could have all your instrument presets set up and just flick from one to the other just by pushing the button. Even without using the uh, breakout box to transpose, that's a, a really good way of switching from instrument to instrument. Okay, so that's the breakout box. Thank you.